Hey guys, um, so one, one singular tomato plant has survived. Uh, it's my first year gardening and, um, you know, I'll take it. I got uh, one tomato plant that I was able to grow from seed. It's not much of a plant right now, I'm going to show it to you. Um, but tonight, I'm going to be transplanting this guy into the garden. Um, really, realistically, uh, you should wait. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but there, there's some new um, buds coming up from the middle there. You can see he has a pair of broad leaves, or the, the true leaves, these guys on the ends. These guys here, these are the bud leaves. Um, normally you want to wait until you get a second pair of these guys before you transplant them into the ground. But I can see they're starting to come up, they're starting to come through. Um, I've moved this guy to outdoors uh, for the last few days. Um, so we're just going to give it a shot. Now I'm going to wait until tonight before I transplant him um, over into the garden over here. And uh, the reason why you want to do that is it's less stressful for the plant uh, because you're putting it in a new, um, a new soil bed. You know, the roots and stuff have to get used to that new bed. So the last thing you want is for the sun to be pounding down on the plant while it's going through that kind of stressful period. So if you are transplanting into your garden, the best time to do it is at night and give the plant, you know, an overnight to uh, get used to the new soil. Um, these pots, these burpee pots, are directly uh, transplantable. So I'll just dig out um, a little hole and put the whole thing right in there. You can see I have another guy over here who is still alive, uh, I would say barely. Um, he may turn into a second plant. We'll see what happens. Um, and uh, in another video, I'll show you sort of my strategy for next year on how to grow tomato plants from seed. I actually bought a system, uh, which is very, very cool, and it just makes watering automated because that's where I messed up. Um, I overwatered, and um, you know that leads to root rot and like long stringy stems, uh, which you know don't enable these broad leaves to sprout. So just to give you a closer look, you can see that the stem here. It's got this nice uh, purple color and has these fine hairs kind of coming off of it. That's the sign of a very healthy uh, young tomato plant. Um, and I've sort of submerged this whole thing into uh, some water in a plastic container so that um, the soil can take on water as it sort of needs it. All right, in the next shot you'll see me transplanting this guy into the big garden. All right, we had some uh, pretty bad rain the last couple of days. So we had to wait a couple of days actually to plant this guy. You can see he's sort of lopping over here. I actually let him dry out over the last couple of days because I knew I was gonna be watering him pretty heavily um, when I put him in the ground. So he's been sitting in this bowl of water. You can see he doesn't look super vibrant, but he'll be okay. And you can see that stem got a little thicker even over the last couple of days. What are you doing, buddy? I need you to wait for me. We gotta put this guy in the ground first. Come with me, you're going to help me water them. Alright, so, I dug out a little hole here for our tomato plant. Don't worry about burying him too deep. Uh, yeah. You know, actually, with some plants you have to sort of let them take root. Um, or rather, let their roots breathe. But with tomatoes, you can actually bury them a little bit below the ground. And the stems will actually shoot out some new roots. Um, you know, to increase the root structure. So don't worry if you bury them a little too deep. So here we go with these burpee pots. You just put the whole thing right in there. And uh, I'm going to bury this whole thing up. And I will check back with you in a couple of weeks on this plant. And uh, you can see, hopefully it'll you know bud into something like one of these big guys here. Uh, we are pretty late in the season. You know, it's my first year doing this. Next year I definitely will be um, a little more prepared and uh, I'll have a better idea of how to grow these guys from seed. But um, thanks for bearing with me. This is my one tomato plant, uh, one successful tomato plant from seed. So we're just going to finish filling this in. And then um, feel free, let's move that rock out of the way. Feel free to water him generously, um, especially if you have good drainage. And uh, yeah, that's about it. All right, guys, I'll check back with you. Hopefully this guy will be a lot bigger in a couple of weeks. Take care. Bye.